While Oscar cichlids are very popular in the aquarium hobby, one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of fish keepers do is giving Oscars an unsuitable diet. Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. My name is Zenzo and you're watching Tozawa Tanks. So recently I was interviewed on the Aquarius podcast and during that interview we talked about uh, Oscar cichlids and the diet of Oscars and I had shared with Randy in that interview that I sometimes feed my Oscar snails and uh, other insects and I thought I would make a video about it and talk to you guys about why I do that and uh, talk a little bit more in depth about Oscar cichlid diet. Now a lot of times people ask me about uh, what I feed Oscar and do I feed him feeder fish and the answer is no. So there's a few reasons why I don't feed um, my Oscar cichlid feeder fish. Number one, it's not really necessary. With today's uh, quality foods that are available, whether they be pellet foods or other dry foods, um, as well as some fresh foods that you can purchase, you know, buying a uh, another fish to feed to my Oscar really doesn't make sense. The other issue that I have in buying feeder fish and feeding them to my Oscar is that it uh, elevates the risk of uh, him contracting some type of a disease. Usually the feeder fish that you find in stores are disease ridden and uh, it's very probable that you can pass along some disease from those fish to your Oscar or whatever other fish that you are feeding. So in my opinion, using a feeder fish that you're purchasing from the store is not a good idea. Another issue that can arise is uh, your fish could get injured. So even if that fish is small and can't necessarily attack your fish, um, your fish might be hunting and chasing that fish and Oscars aren't necessarily the most agile of fish So if you've ever had an Oscar or if you plan to get one or if you've seen them in other people's tanks They are not really built for speed and um, Dexterity they're kind of slow moving and cumbersome So it is probable that your fish could get injured by running into the tank or hitting a rock or a you know, some kind of decoration in there and having some kind of injuries. And that would be another reason why I don't find it uh, really worth it to uh, feed your fish uh, other fish that are live. So let's talk a little bit about what uh, Oscars eat in the wild. So in the wild, Oscars are not what you would call a piscivore. So a piscivore would be a fish that eats other fish. Um, so Oscars are not typically piscivores. Now they will eat other small fish when that opportunity arises, but it makes up a very small part of their diet. Again, looking at the fish and how they're designed, they're not really hunters as you can see. They're kind of slow moving and more of an opportunistic feeder. The majority of their diet out in the wild consists of crustaceans. So they will um, go after you know shrimp and uh, other crustaceans, uh, small crabs, freshwater crabs in the body of water that they live in. They'll eat snails, they'll eat a lot of insects. What they don't eat in the wild is they don't eat any land-based mammals. So I have heard about people feeding their um, Oscars, you know, beef and chicken and things like that. That is nothing that they would ever come into contact with while they live in the Amazon. So they, again, are not designed for um, taking chunks of flesh out of mammals and uh, they do not eat you know cattle or deer or anything like that in the wild they don't eat poultry so um, i would highly you know discourage you from feeding those uh, foods to your oscar what i would say is to feed your oscar a quality pellet food so whatever pellet food is your choice um, there are a lot of good ones out there so i'm not going to tell you what you should or shouldn't use but i would recommend getting a good quality pellet food something that your oscar will take a liking to so you might want to try a couple different pellet foods until you find the right one so initially maybe just buy a small package see how your oscar takes to it and if he enjoys it then that's fine and if not maybe try a couple other ones you can do pellets or some of those cichlid sticks but uh, again some type of quality processed food should really make up the majority of the foods that you're feeding an oscar in addition to some type of quality processed food i would recommend um, feeding your your oscar fish uh, like some dried shrimp so i happen to use the freeze dried shrimp you could do frozen shrimp and thaw it out you can buy it at the grocery store and cut it up um, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, cutting up shrimp, cutting up uh, other um, seafood or freshwater seafood like, uh, you know, scallops and, you know, small pieces of fish. Um, again, they're not, uh, you know, piscivore, so they're not out hunting fish, so I wouldn't recommend giving your Oscar fish a fresh fish all the time. 
but it's, it's perfectly fine in giving him a treat and supplementing his diet with a small portion of, um, you know, some cut up fish from time to time. Or again, you can do a scallops and, uh, you know, cut up shrimp and things like that. So I happen to feed my Oscar pellet food. Uh, he happens to like the fluval bug bites quite a bit. Um, so I give him those and sometimes I'll give him some other cichlid pellets that I have laying around. And then in addition, I will give him freeze dried shrimp. So I like to buy the really large ones because, you know, he's a little bit on the large side. So, you know, there's something that he can grab and chew on and eat. And the other good thing about the, uh, the feeding of the shrimp is that it does add fiber. So it does help to kind of clean out his intestinal tract and just make sure that everything's flowing smoothly. Now, having said that, I do feed my Oscar live foods. I just don't feed him live fish. So I feed him snails. So uh, because I have so many tanks and some of them have plants in them, I've got snails. I've got snails uh, in several different tanks, a few different varieties. He's not very picky. He'll eat, um, you know, the pond snails and the ram's horn snails, Malaysian trumpet snails. So um, he will um, eat a wide variety of snails. So every once in a while, I'll put some snails in a tank. A lot of times he'll just hit them right away as they're falling in. Sometimes if he's had a few or he's kind of had a, has a full belly, he'll leave the snails alone. And then what I do notice is later on, he'll be swimming around and he'll hunt them and he'll grab them off the side of the tank or out of the substrate. So feeding the uh, live snails is good because it kind of keeps the fish active and uh, allowing him to uh, kind of maintain that hunting instinct and keep him engaged so it's good for the fish in that aspect and snails are very slow moving so it's not like he's gonna you know bash into a piece of wood chasing down a snail it's just not gonna happen in addition to the snails i will sometimes give him some uh other types of insects so i'll get like mealworms um, so every once in a while not very often but every once in a while i'll go to the store and buy a container of mealworms i'll keep them in the refrigerator and then give them a few every now and then those seem to be his favorite so going back to like a year, over a year ago when I first got them, um, I did uh, try to uh, heal them and kind of fatten them up a little bit by giving him some mealworms. He really took a liking to those. So whenever I do give him mealworms, it's a real treat. He kind of, uh, you know, he'll see me, you know, walk up to the tank and he'll swim up to the surface. Sometimes I'll even hold the worm uh, in front of the glass and uh, just kind of like let him see the worm kind of wriggling around in my finger and then he'll swim right up and then grab it when I drop it in the tank. So that's always fun and uh, you know again it keeps them engaged. Um, there's no risk of contaminating any fish diseases from the mealworms uh, to Oscar so um, it's a, just a, a different uh, source of protein. Does have some dietary fibers in there, in there that's uh, good for him as well and also ha does have that level of engagement that uh, is healthy for the fish. So I was hoping that Oscar would be kind of swimming here behind me while I was filming this video, but uh, every time I do something that's a little bit foreign to him, he kind of sulks in the bottom of the tank, which I've talked about before as far as him being moody. So when I put up the umbrella light and set up the tripod and everything and put this chair here, which is not normally here, he's just kind of hanging out behind me and hiding out. So anyway, I'll take some B-roll and, and uh, make sure that you've got some uh, good footage of Oscar in here. But um, anyway, again, just to kind of sum it up, um, I would say uh, my advice, don't do live foods uh, for the reasons I listed before, as far as fish are concerned, uh, insects are fine, invertebrates are, are fine. Do not do any land-based foods, so I would avoid um, you know, beef and turkey and poultry. Uh, it's really not necessary. It's not natural for their digestive system. So again, that's not something that they would encounter in the wild. If you have an Oscar, I'd love to read down below in the comments what you feed your Oscar and what he or she uh, loves to eat, any kind of special treats that you give them. Um, if you do pellets, what kind of pellets are you using and uh, other dried foods as well as any live foods that you might be giving your Oscar um, like crickets or worms and you know, things like that. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.